Hello and welcome everyone to YouTube channel of DCC and IT Agatala. So today we will be solving the problem C Copil Copac draws trees of code forces round 875. So in this problem we are given a tree of n vertices and uh, as we know in a tree we have n minus 1 edges if there are n vertices and we have to draw a tree now. So we have to go through a couple of steps to draw the complete tree. So in step 0 we will draw the vertex 1 right then we will just go to step 1 okay in step 0 we will uh, draw vertex 1 and then we will go to step 1 so in step 1 we will be given a input edges so for this input edges we will go in order and uh, we will draw an edge only if there is a vertex u which is already drawn and there is a vertex v which is yet to be drawn then only we will draw a edge okay and we will be going in order that is given in input and uh, then we will go in step 2 after that then in step 2 we will just check like all the vertices are drawn or not if, if it is drawn then we will terminate otherwise we will keep on continuing uh, to the step going to the step 1 okay so and at last we are asked that how many times like copy go back like is perform step one how many times we are performing this step one we just need to return this okay so we can go through a sample test case so here it is the number of nodes and these are the edges so there are six edges so there will be five uh, so uh, six vertices so there will be five edges and minus one so we will be going in order so this is the first edge this is the second edge this is the third edge we will be going in this order and then we will check at last uh, are all the vertices covered if all the vertices are covered then uh, we will terminate otherwise we will again start from this edge and go towards this direction downwards so here uh, we can see that okay i will zoom in a little bit okay so here if this uh, if this is clear to you then uh, we can uh, you know we cannot try the naive approach like let's understand the sample test case first now here uh, if when we are uh, in the step uh, zero then we have drawn this vertex one this vertex one is drawn then in uh, step one then in that uh, we are going through this uh, you know our edges in order so we cannot draw this edge for five because none of them none of them is drawn till now. Now we can draw this because one is drawn. We can draw this because one is drawn. We can draw this because three is already drawn. Because this three is already drawn. We have drawn this. Then this will also be drawn. Now we can also draw this because one is already drawn. So after the one iteration, on going uh, through this uh, like whole ordered of uh, our edges in step one we have successfully successfully drawn this much of a subtree right now can we terminate now we will go in step two now we have to check whether all these uh, like vertexes are drawn or not we can clearly see that the vertex five this is not drawn so what we can do we will just go to step one again we will start from the very first and check uh, okay and check and draw the vertices if uh, the condition is satisfied now for the first edge we will see like can we draw this edge because 4 is already drawn yeah 4 is already drawn so we can draw 5 all, and all these edges are already drawn so no need to draw them again okay so so we can see that right, see that you know in the second reading or the second uh, iteration of step one we have successfully drawn all the steps so the result will be two okay so now we cannot perform the naive way like uh, what most of people think that uh, we can just uh, try to remove all the edges but which we have drawn and try to go on this uh, series again and again we cannot do that why like we can consider a case like when uh, we can see like if input is given like this, like this uh, at last we are given 1 2 then we are given 2 3 then we are given 3 4 
then likewise uh, we can continue the series and like we uh, likewise we have given 10 raised to the power 5 minus 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 if the input is given to us like this then the time complexity of the, our solution will be n squared why now because uh, when we iterate through this uh, whole uh, order like we are not able to draw any of these edges in the iteration one so in iteration one we are able to uh, eliminate only this portion in, uh, in iteration two we are only able to terminate this edge in iteration three in iteration three only this so in every iteration we are uh, going to travel all these edges so are also for every iteration we are going through all the n step and there will be an iteration so the time causality will be n square big of n square so we cannot simply do this so what better we can do over here is that we can try to you know, visualize things by drawing a tree so we can suppose we can consider a tree for the sample case too uh, that there is a you know edge from 1 to 2 we, we can try uh, drawing this uh, graph or tree so it will be 1 2 7 4 then 5 6 and finally 3 so this is a graph looking like that I hope it is little bit clear to you so we can see we have drawn this uh, graph successfully so at first we will be able to draw only this edge right this uh, iteration one we are only able to draw an edge uh, which is connecting these like one to two one to any uh, element so at first we are only adding this now can you say when will this edge this four to six will be added this will be added only uh, only when this edge is added this edge is added then only this four to six will be added so we can do a dfs traversal from here right but uh, we need to also count the uh, like the number of readings like how many times are we are going to step in so we know that uh, for at first we are uh, it will take you know from uh, jumping from step 0 to step 1 we will definitely take uh, you know one uh, operation or uh, we are going through the step 1 one time so uh, at first we are starting off with one so and uh, what is our index like when this 1 to 2 will be added we can have the index of all these pairs so if we try to get all these pairs okay so these are the pairs okay if we try to increase the font okay so uh, we can see for this let number all these indices so let it be 1 then let it be 2 this be 3 this be 4 5 and 6 so these are the edges uh, right the number I have numbered these edges so uh, first of all this edge, edge 1 will be 1 to 3 will be drawn right we are going in this order from 1 to 6 so first this uh, edge 1 to 3 will be added and index of this in, uh, of this would be index of this uh, pair would be this edge is 4 right uh, so this answer we are taking and uh, this current is 1 and this is 4 it's 1 comma and for this 1 to 2 we have uh, our current answer or our current result as one and uh, uh, like this one is uh, nothing but how many times we have gone through how many times we have uh, iterate, uh, done the iteration or how many times we have done step one so this one is simply uh, signifying that the this is the uh, our answer and uh, this will be 
plot our answer the current value and at last we will be taking the maximum of this current value and uh, this is the index like what is the order or what is the index of the you know this edge uh, in the input so here i have taken uh, i have uh, enumerated these pairs as the numbers like in order from 1 to 6 so the edge from 1 to 6 will be uh, at index 4 so index 4 is here now from 1 to 2 like the uh, like index or the order will be 5 so it will be 1 comma 5 okay so now we are going from 2 to 7 okay now for going from 2 to 7 we can see like, the previous state what we are having let me clear it a little bit this is 1 and 5 uh, so from 2 to 7 like I know that I have to uh, like from 1 to 2 I am here then after that I have to go again I have to start again I have to do the step 1 again uh, start from the very first then I will be able to go till 2,7 like and how can I see that like uh, is there any other way like yes uh, I can see the order like if the order it is 3 for this 2,7 and uh, I know that uh, this 3 is uh, lesser. Now I am at my current, uh, the, like uh, the index is 5. So I cannot go back. So I have to do a cycle. I have to uh, uh, you know, come again here. So I can do what? I can increment my counter to 2. Like 1 is incremented to 2. That means I have done a cycle. Like I have uh, repeated this task. And here. Uh, this 5 will be you know uh, this, this is the you know the index of this pair for this pair 2 to 7 the index will is 3 so I will put 3 here and from 2 to 4 uh, I know that the from 2 to 4 again the similar thing uh, I will do one more iteration and the index will be of 2 to 4 will be 2 right and from 4 to 6 4 to 6 uh, like can I see is there any edge from 4 to 6 I don't find any edge from 4 to 6 so is this right uh, I feel okay okay there is no edge like this there is edge like this let me remove this yeah there is an edge like this so from 4 to 5 there is edge so can I add this edge uh, like 4 to 5 yes because this uh, index of this is 4 and this is 2 like 6 is greater so it will still remain 2 and this will be 6 and from 5 comma 6 uh, this is 1 this is smaller so it will be 3 comma 1 so we will take maximum of all these values all the current values this is 3, 1, 1, 1, like uh, 2 and 2. Like we will take maximum of all these values and maximum here is 3. So I can uh, I can print my answer as 3. So, so this is the way I can do that. Like I am keeping two things at a time. I am uh, keeping my current value. That is my answer. Like how many times I have done this step 1 and the uh, and this number that is uh, um, actually uh, what is the index what is the index of this pair like 1 to 2 what is the index what is the uh, index of the uh, you know what is the order like if I am going from uh, top to down what is the order of this pair okay so I have enumerated these as numbers as their indices so this is one of the way we can do this there might be different approaches to solve this problem but this i feel would be pretty simple because we are simply doing a dfs traversal and maintaining some pointer so i will also show you the code uh, the code is very much similar to this so here we have created this adjacent adjacency vertices and we have stored the uh, order so this is how i have stored the order of pair okay uh, so this will be stored in the map of uh, like pair comment and then I have done a DFS traversal starting from node 0 because I have taken a zero based uh, indices for the uh, numbers in the uh, like the vertices of the tree 
and uh, the current value will be zero. This is the current value. Uh, first of all, I will have the zero, and I will take the maximum of all the result. And for tree, we uh, we need to have a previous node that we have visited so that we will not uh, go in a cycle. Uh, and this is a simple DFS traversal where I have simply taken the uh, the index of the current node, like the new node I am about to visit, and then I will check like uh, whether the index is smaller than the current index or not if the index of the new edge it is smaller than the index of previous edge then uh, i have to add it to my result okay and uh, and i have to, uh, I have to just recursively do this so that's why i'm doing a dfs and at last i'm uh, you know taking the maximum of all of these results uh, the results are my counters and this is my final answer maximum so uh, and that's how we will, I will print the result and the output uh, will be pretty simple. So I hope this will be pretty much clear to you. If not, uh, you can, you know, uh, comment on the uh, like comment section of YouTube of Data. We will soon give you some help. Yeah, thank you.